Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another Black Series action figure review. We've got the Grand Inquisitor, another brand new -y. Um Thanks to the folks at Angel Grove Collectibles for, for this one and the mall, which I just reviewed yesterday as well. Um, so yeah, I've been look, really looking forward to this one. It's almost a bit of a, a young Dan Aykroyd about that picture. I don't know what it is, but no, it looks, it looks good. It's a nice, nice image based on the Grand Inquisitor live action form. See how the same on the back of this one, they've just given it a bit of a blurb about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series as opposed to a thing about the Grand Inquisitor himself. Um, so yeah, that's obviously saved them a bit of time <laughs> um, to, uh, you know, personalise the thing with the character description. Um, yeah, he's looking pretty good. I've been excited about this one. I was definitely excited about the mall a little bit more, which is why he got reviewed first. Um, but yeah, I was never going to skip out on this guy, not with the other two Inquisitors that have already come out. Um, and the other one to come maybe late this year, early next year, I think. Um, so yeah, let's let's just crack this one straight into it and uh, have a look at the figure. Alright, here we have the Grand Inquisitor out of the packaging and, you know, straight out of the box. I, I decided this is a better figure out of the box than it is in um just the way they sort of have the cape all sort of tucked in you could really see it it looks a little bit strange in the box to be honest um but yeah to have him out in the open now is is really really cool uh first we'll get a look at his lightsaber so yeah there we have his you know signature spinning lightsaber blade is unpeggable so you can take them out. It has two pegs there which will fit onto the little panel on his back. So that's cool. I like that a lot. So yeah, here we have Mr. Grand Inquisitor himself. Now one sort of detail that's already come across to me is the markings on his head and eyes. Which, you know, you should very much be red. They are a little purple in colour, which is... Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether that was accurate to the series. I might have been a really dark red, but I feel that should be quite, quite red and pronounced as opposed to sort of purple. Um, so that's sort of the one sort of glaring thing that I'm picking up from this figure already. One is, the, the other one is sort of the shape of the head. I don't know. I don't, it didn't look that sort of round in the show. <laughs> I know it was a lot different compared to the animated version, which was fine, you know, understood. They had to sort of reverse engineer to bring the characters to live action. And, um, you know, I, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to do what I said. I, I said I was going to take the head off and do the old soak it in some hot water and then sort of pinch it. So it's a little bit skinnier. Um, and then put it back on and sort of see how that sort of looks. So I'm probably going to do that for sure. Um, but otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. The sculpt's nice. Look a little bit lopsided because that could just be the way the light is bouncing off it at the moment, just creating a little bit of odd shadow. But I do like the sculpt. I think that looks good. He's got the Grand Inquisitor sort of pin there on his chest armor so again we've got this sort of got this sort of um armor which i was talking about where it's sort of sort of um built into the shoulders there so he does have the butterfly joints so you really get some this guy in some pretty cool poses as well sort of a bit of a softer softer plastic there for the armor which is nice you can see the sort of way the soft goods sort of tuck down the front um so that when it does flow out the back it sits Probably one other th little issue it did have coming out of the pack is um, there is a tiny little pinhole in the top of the fabric there and this would have been, um, there's a little knot of plastic there, uh, string sorry, and that will, should have been joined on just so that when that sits down it's, it's all tucked in nicely so that's something I'm probably just going to have to do myself um, and I think it's simply just to have have it so that that does sort of sit underneath um i'm going to try and find some other reviews and sort of see if, see how other people's look um just to compare and maybe i can 
maybe I can fix it with a little bit more accuracy um, than mine has come. So it's probably just, you know, literally just a tiny little in package fault, but it's not a big deal. Um, we look at these gray pants, butt crack. <laughs> He's got these black boots, these big pocket holders, and no one's going to be pickpocketing out of his wallet. You know, his pockets are well protected there. He's got his iPhone and his his car keys and everything in there. But overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with the figure. I think he looks good. Maybe if this was sort of painted in a bit more of a gloss, um, as opposed to just sort of being cast in a you know a soft black plastic. And then with a little bit of highlights, if it was painted in a sort of a more gloss, it'd look a little bit better, I think. But um, especially in contrast with the sort of matte of his clothes, I think the um, having his armour pieces with a little bit more gloss would look a little bit better. But you can't win them all, can you, folks? But I'm still thrilled to have this guy in the collection. He looks pretty good. Interesting interested to take a look at some other reviews and sort of see how other people's have come out but yeah them they, they should really be read um in my opinion that's just i'm not sure if it's meant to be or not but <laughs> i'll have to uh check out some source material no in the show in the in rebels are definitely red it's very reminiscent of the uh the, the brother the son from mortis the same markings so yeah there you can see the lightsaber hilt is plugged on the back so you can just charge through crowds and lop off heads like this I reckon that'd be cool to see so it seems to have all the other good articulation so I'm looking forward to sort of spending a bit of time and posing him up and getting him in some cool looking poses just to sort of see how he how he goes yeah I'm going to try and tweak the head a little bit I'm not going to be able to repaint that. I just don't have the, just don't have the steady hands for it. So I'll leave it as is. Maybe one day I'll give it a shot. But yeah, definitely feel like it should be a red color instead of you know a lavender or purple almost. But the other cool thing would be if he came with his helmet that he had in Rebels. That would have been killer. But not to be. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you think of the Grand Inquisitor down in the comments below. Back with some more reviews. Got some Marvel ones coming up from later in the week. Um, so stay tuned for them. Hope you've enjoyed it again. May the force be with you, always.